Alright, so hey guys, my name is Rodolph and welcome to my first ever tutorial for anything really. So this video is gonna be for head film. It's the new program by fxhome.com. They just released it and and yeah, so this is actually gonna be one of the first tutorials for the program and and yeah, so I'm glad to help, you know. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm pretty much gonna today talk to you up guys about some color correcting tips and and some tools in hit film that you guys can use to make your videos look better. So so yeah, so I already opened up hit film. I'm gonna assume that you guys already know how to open up the program. And I imported a shot from a music video I did earlier this year. So here is the shot. And pretty much I did two layers, put them on top of each other just so I can deselect one to show how it was before and then deselect one to show how it was after. So so yeah, so the main so the main tools in the color effects panel I'm gonna be talking about is uh, the brightness and contrast, the color correction wheels, hue saturation and lightness, and white balance. Now this is not the order I usually use these in so let me fix that. I usually have white balance first and then hue saturation and lightness second and brightness and contrast is always last because I always like to get all my colors there before I start contrasting and losing data and things like that. So yeah, so the first thing is gonna be the white balance and the white balance is pretty straightforward. You click, you drag this to the area where you want is white and right here in his shirt that's, that's the white area and then I do this. The shot was already white balanced, so there's not a big difference there. But it's also, it's always good to white balance your footage before you color correct it. So the only thing you're gonna see here is when I add the white balance, it actually makes the image brighter than it actually is. And at first I was like, man, why is it doing that? You know, it's white balance. Why is it? changing the brightness of the image and I found out pretty much hit film what it's doing is when you put the eye dropper tool here it's pretty much trying to make this area white so it actually overblow the image so it can be white which which I really don't like because I wanted to change the color but not the brightness of the image so an easy fix for that is to click on the color here and just put this to all the way white and then it fixes it so it doesn't really change and like I told you the image was already white balanced you're not gonna see a big difference here but but yeah so you should always make sure that your image is properly balanced before you start doing anything so so yeah so for this we're gonna try to get like a cool look like cold weather like have a like that bluish tone people usually do. The main reason is because a lot of videos I see that that makes the image a little bluish it's like the skin tones they lose the skin tones and the person in the image just ends up looking like he's dead or something because he's just washed out there's like no nothing so so I really do hate that so so we're just gonna talk about that and I'll just go along so you guys just can see. Alright, so that's it for the white balance tool. And now the hue, saturation, and lightness. So for this, we see that it has a master, and then it has red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, yellow. So pretty much the master will control everything, and then these will control individual colors. So for the master here, we have the hue shift, saturation, and lightness. The hue shift is pretty much just changing the hue of the image. And then the saturation saturates everything more. And the lightness just makes it brighter or makes it darker. 
So, so if you have if you have an underexposed image, sometimes the lightness can fix that, but we're not gonna use that for that. So yeah, that was the master and for everything else it's pretty much the same thing except these will target specific areas of the image. So like I told you we're gonna make everything bluish so and we don't want to lose the skin tone. So the best way to do that is before we make everything bluish to make the reds in the image which is the skin tones more red pretty much. So that's that's pretty much the idea. We're just gonna make it the reds more red so when we make it blue there's actually some red left and that guy ended up looking like he's dead so let me just go ahead and open these and I'll just show you some different things you can do to just understand it more so to see the area that's being affected when you move it I always do the lightness just so you can see whatever becomes brighter that's what's being affected just so you can see before you start affecting an image you you know so so yeah when the, when I'm moving the red you can kind of see his face getting brighter so we know that that red right here that controls his face so if I reset that let's get blue or something if I do blue you see some other parts of the image being affected and in cyan you see there's not a lot of cyan there but but pretty much you get the idea so in magenta magenta you see a lot of right here being affected so yeah why am I doing all this I just want to know what area affects what so I know magenta is mostly these areas and then red also does some of these areas but not as bad as magenta does so why is this important well when I go to saturate the reds you'll actually see some right here and right here get saturated also and that's because the red affects some of it so like we found out earlier the magenta affects most of these areas so the easy fix for that is to decrease the saturation of the magenta and then we will get more of the reds and less of everything else so see that yellow got strong too so we just decrease that so yeah so right now it's mostly just the red and let's just go ahead and do it fully on his face so yeah, that's pretty much it for the hue, saturation, and lightless. Again, I'm just showing you different tips and techniques, how these work and what you can do with them. So for this, you just see his skin is like saturated. The saturation on his skin is the same as everything else. And then when I do this, it gets brighter. Like you see that guy with the red shirt in the back. His red shirt gets more saturated, so so yeah I pretty much get the idea so I'm gonna stop this right here because it's running a little bit long and I will pick up with the color correction wheels and the brightness see you next time